All right, we did get spawned. This should be kill. We have we all we need one more. Okay. All right, this is just nice, beautiful. There it is. There it is. Good job. Good job. Well done. Plus twenty. Oh, amazing. That's a plus twenty two. I got the plus 20 rating, which is great. What is going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you a plus 22 under rot. We timed it with about 2 minutes, 50 seconds left, which is amazing. I did not fist weave. I cast the healed. This is my talents. Um, there's really nothing crazy going on here. I use the same ones pretty much every time. I focus on haste first and mastery. And, yeah, I we do a quite a bit of healing with this. My healing breakdown looks like Vivify, Envelope, Mist, Customist, and Shaylin's Gift. So those are my top four heals. If you have any questions, let me know. I know that most people are used to watching like fist weaver but i just feel like casting healing so that's pretty much it if you have any questions at all please let me know i'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that is it for me hope everyone's fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later all right yo what is going on everybody this is mystical today i am bringing you hopefully we're recording right now because i've made that mistake before i am recording i am bringing you a plus 22 under rod. so this is tyrannical I'm pretty sure tyrannical. I'm not fist weaving either. Some pe people seem to enjoy the non fist weaver. That's cool. I like that. Um, I kind of, you know, I'm a healer, so I tend to heal. I don't. If I want to play a DPS, if I wanted to DPS, I'd, I'd play a DPS. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, I tend to kind of favor cast the healing over fist weaving, which may not be as exciting to watch, but for anyone that does enjoy it, like, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, they kind of just do me, you know? So, uh, yeah, I have the build. I'll, I'll, if you're watching this, I timed it, and I showed you the build at the beginning of the video. I'll put a link. I also put a copy to it in the description as well. But, uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully everyone enjoys. This is, you know, this is real time. Um, uh, you know, this is in real time live commentary right now. So it helps me focus a lot more when I'm doing live commentary. <laughs> Then, uh, then like I don't know, being silent, it I, I like helps me focus a lot more. I didn't realize we were playing with the hunter until now, so I, I should probably put Mystic Touch on everything, just because you know five percent physical damage. Even for I'm playing with Harambe, and he's oh no no. Normally he's Demo, but he's actually Destro this time around. So yeah, and that's my PVP buddy. Yeah, him and I. I think we've been queuing, we've been doing Keystones and everything together since like BFA. So. You know, it's been fun. Big healing here. Dodge this. Mystic touch and everything. Sweep. On use here. Should be okay. And then bursting, obviously. Diffuse magic, really good for bursting as well, by the way. So, if you ever find yourself having a ton of stacks, you just diffuse magic the stacks off. And they dispel, they get dispelled off of you, so... If you're ever in a situation where you need, you know, you have stacks on yourself and like, you know, you have to choose between yourself or healing other people, just, you know, just do the diffuse match yourself and then heal your teammates and you should be okay. Okay. This pull is not very fun, but we're doing good. I also see some comments on Twitter about like, uh, like healers and like doing damage. I feel like it just depends on like the meta and like what people are doing. You know, or like what the dungeons are. Some dungeons require you to heal, so, you know, a little bit more than others. So, you know, I'm just a fan of healing. Like that's, I just like healing. You know, I, I never really liked. That's why I lean <laughs> more towards casting healing, just because I really enjoy. I just like healing. This boss, I'm gonna drink real quick here. I'm gonna keep drinking, but like this boss doesn't really require too much mana. Um, so the rotation for castle healing really isn't anything crazy. Um, you pretty much just want to keep your engineering mists up. Make sure you crackling jade landing or spinning crane kicker rising sun kick to get some um, mystic touches out. And then actually, actually uh, one thing I can do a lot better for sure. I mean, there's probably a few things I can do a lot better is doing damage in downtime. You, you, rising sun kick and enveloping mist both apply renewing mist. So cre creeping rot, by the way, don't stand in front of the green. Uh, you can gnome ratio that vine. I don't know. I forget the name of the affix. I, so. Um, and then, yeah, downtime, you try to do some rising sun kicks. You try to do some, some blackout kicks. Do as much damage as you can, obviously, without being putting yourself in danger. And then you see all my renewing mists out right now, right? Like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I will not die. Um, but, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just try to do damage when you can. Kick that. Renewing mist. 
and we're just gonna do as much damage as we can. It wasn't a myth. Harambe does insane amounts of damage. He's a freaking god. Boom, Renewing Mist. <clears throat> Remember, you have two charges of Renewing Mist, so obviously use both charges. Always have Renewing Mist charging um, as often as you can, of course. I, I, you could also use Yulon. Yulon gives you mana reduction on your Enveloping Mist by 50%. So, you know, if you ever find yourself in, like, a tight spot or you do some, like, spot healing or burst healing, you just you can just whip out the uh, the Yulon. Oh, Gnome that. Good. And now that the, um, whatever that's called, it's gone, the Creeping Rod, you can just kind of push him for damage here damage okay nice doing a good job here nice kick from harambe not getting juked by the boss well not you see i gained mana during this boss fight i think i started at like 35 percent mana and i'm at nearly 50 so you also want to keep your doing this up because you're two set right because and your four set technically and your four set but especially two set because you uh you get mana back and then from the four set you get a buff you know healing buff to your renewing mist and your vivify Pretty sure so it's pretty good first boss is fairly easy and then on fort weeks this place isn't too or on tyrannical weeks i don't think this place is too bad oh and then you also have shaylin's gift which is really good you can you can rotate them i get the question of like when how many stacks should you do when should you use shaylin's gift right how many stacks is ideal i pretty much go for anything seven or seven or more stacks essentially that's kind of what i go for so like right now you can see I'm just I'm just spinning crane kicking because there isn't much damage going out so now's a good time to just do as much damage as you can doing almost a million damage. Lost my mouse there for a second. I do have revival. We also have uh, MD from the Shadow Priest to spell that. So the MD uh, is pretty good for dispelling burst, right? So bursting stacks. I'll just go revival here. I guess I could have held, but I don't want us to get too low because I want us to keep chain pulling. I feel like this build is really good for chain pulling. You do tend to sometimes, a good amount of time actually, you do run out of mana. Um, kick this. And uh, I'm just going to cocoon the hunter here because he has two mobs fixated. If they get too close to him, I kind of want to save Rop for like, like a, you know, scary situation. But like if they go on me. <laughs> but I tend to, I, I tend to save bring a piece for like less mobile. Like right now. See, just a little ring of peace on him and he's good. Let's try to spell. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to stack up here in case we go for an MD. Would be really nice. Nice, beautiful. That's why you stack. I You want to stack up when you can. Because it makes it makes my life easier. You know, I'm going to try to drink here. Um, we should be okay. I'm just going to manatee here. Essence font. Go for a little thunder focus team. Belping mist here. And then go for a big shadow's gift. Yeah, it's massive. Good. Beautiful. And then we, what do we have? We have crit bonus here. Again, the crit's going to help with damage. Uh, we'll sweep this uh, frontal. And we're just going to spin a crane kick, spin a win here. That's pretty much it. I can potentially in-cap the next one. Oh, nice kick on that from Harambe. Oh. Rest in peace. Poor priest. Gnome. Nice. Good grip on that. Release, yeah, I never understood. Oh, don't stay in the front door. Good. Spin crane kick. Rop. On use here. Be healing. Don't die. Nice health zone. Good. Nice. Nice. Good. Pretty good. Dispel here. Start drinking. <clears throat> I didn't know if he was going to die there. <laughs> Wasn't sure. <laughs> Stop drinking just so I could heal the hunter. Good elixir though from the uh, from the hunter. At least we're pressing buttons. That's what that's what matters the most to me. Okay. Uh, I do have sweep. I'll just sweep the everything right. Makes sense. I have a ten stack. We'll just press it. Boom. Nice. No racial that. Beautiful. Manatee here. I guess the most important thing about Tyrannical Weeks is trying to line up your cooldowns for when you're at the boss fight. Um, usually on Tyrannical Weeks, what you're going to do, at least in Underrod, what you're going to do here is you're going to pull trash until your fatigue debuff is gone. So we'll probably just pull for... It doesn't even really matter like how much trash you pull because we're going to kill it anyway. But 
Nice grip on that uh, that frontal dispel there. I'm gonna just go for a four stacker here, just because I'm kind of low on mana, and I kinda, and I'm, I just need to get some AOE healing going out. That's also a different, another situation. So yeah, we're probably gonna pull some trash here. We're probably gonna pull into like the big worm guy or something. I'm gonna drink again. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess the one downside to this build is that you do find yourself going for drinks fairly often, which is a little too bad, but. I, I definitely could be doing something a little bit more inefficient as as well. I don't know. I don't see many other Mistweavers playing this build, so... Most of, it's, most of it's fist sweeping, which is cool. It's cool. You know? If I want to DPS, I play Windwalker, you know? <laughs> fist sweeping is fun, though. It is fun. I just, uh... There's just times where I just don't feel like playing it, you know what I mean? Like... You ever just like not feel like playing something? I don't know. I, I fist weaved in Shadowlands and everything, but I just never, just wasn't fun. Spell. Or it's not fun now. It, it was fun in Shadowlands, but not, I don't know. I think it's the uh, Night Fae. I hate Night Fae. I want Fenthyr. I want, I want my minions back, my, uh, my Fallen Order. Those guys were cool. A little Todd here. I want uh, to spell here. Go for an eight stacker. Good. Dispel. Healing elixir. Dispel. Good. Healing elixir. Nice. I mean, you know, we're doing, we're doing a good amount of damage. You know, it's, it's not insane. But the damage is there. I would like to start getting a drink, though. AMS. Good. So the tank doesn't get stacks. Because it's magic. Alright, give me my last stack so I can dispel and start drinking. Good. Okay, reset my statue here. I'm gonna start drinking before the team gets here for the group. <sighs> Trash is looking pretty good right now too. Um, I don't know if I need a lot of mana on this fight. I might, I don't know, we'll see. But the strategy for this boss, he has a few mechanics. I'll kind of sp talk through them as we, uh, we go through. You line up here and if he starts charge, you dodge it, don't stand in front of him. I'm pretty sure that kills you even if on nine Tyrannical weeks and then you gotta switch the maggots. And then you just regroup. If you don't stand in this corner, he's, what he's going to do is he's going to charge across the room. Ingestion, don't stand in front. No racial here. Um, he's going to run across the room and you're going to lose a lot of uptime because it's just a nightmare. So stand in this corner. Reposition after everyone. Charge, dodge it. Nice. Stand on the, the bugs so that they don't spawn bugs. Nice. Good hero as well. Really good. This is the big part of the fight. Uh, during this part, you kind of want to uh, use your 10 stack Shaylin's Gift. Uh, if I had Yulon, I'd press it here as well. And then again, you want to squish these. Um, it's a little bit difficult if you, there's a lot of damage going out, but there isn't much, which is nice. So I'm going to save my Yulon for the next time he does. I, I forget the name of the mechanic. And then we're just going to do damage. You know, there's, there's a lot of downtime on this boss. It's just those few burst damage uh, windows where you kind of want to heal through it. But I have Revival, I have Yulon for next time, so we should be okay. No racial this, charge, don't stand in front. Beautiful. Just to squish the bugs. Nice. All right, Yulon, or Yulon. I'm gonna, Shaylin's gift, so I get the buff into a Yulon. So I get the crit buff now. Oh, it's Tantrum. Be healing here. And then we're just gonna, all right, nice. On use here, nice trap on the bug. All right, now I'm gonna try to position so he doesn't charge his all charge all the way across. The, nice, beautiful. So now he's gonna charge this way. We're gonna reposition. We're gonna squish the bugs. Do damage here as well. Nice, good work, good. Yeah, this boss isn't too bad. Indigestion, don't stand in front of him. Kill the blood ticks. Oh, they're ticks. I thought they were maggots. Okay, and I have manatee as well. So we're just going to chill here. Uh, we have five stacks of Shaylin's Gift. A charge coming in hot here. Does this guy hit? No, it goes straight across. Nice. We're going to squish the ticks. That's cool. Here's the Tantrum. Shaylin's Gift here. Yulon as well. Or not Yulon. I'm going to revive here. Uh, Gnome Racial that. And I think we should be okay. Because what I do want, the, the, what you want to keep in mind is the next boss, you probably want Revival for. So if I may, I hope I have Revival for the next boss. I should. Nice, don't stand in front of him. Beautiful, doing damage here. 
lot of damage here. Uh, Tiger's Lust, you could Tiger's Lust. If you're a gnome and you're trying to deal with this affix, you can just Tiger's Lust and and uh, gnome ratio every other go. So nice, nice. Look at us, look at us going, baby. Look at us. Nice Jimmy. All right, big healing. Big time. Me, then hunt on diamond. Me, then hunt on diamond. Lock, then spree stun not. What the? What? Lock? I don't know. I, I, I wish I knew what that meant. <laughs> I really, oh, 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 it's these mobs. Oh, 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 it's the markers. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore the, uh, I, I'm just gonna kick that. Okay. Ally AMZ, all right, we're chilling. Do damage here. They don't really do too much damage unless they get a cast off, so. I got diamond, all right, I'm I'm a, I'm a wait, which one's diamond? Okay, I got triangle then. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kick this guy so fast, just start casting, kick it instantly, instantaneously. Yep, oh, I beat Harambe and the, and the, uh, and the hunter, so. I think we know. That's fine. That's fine. Big healing here. That's fine. A lot of healing. Good. Good MD. I'm going to go for some sips here. This boss also, I feel like the bosses in this place don't really do like too much, but so this guy, he's got like two or three mechanics. You have, there's basically one mechanic you want to dodge and it's, it, you'll, you'll see it. Shockwave, just don't stand in front. He's kind of facing the wrong way right now. It's a little sketchy. Um, upheaval right here. If you, healers, I don't think get it, but you go to the mushrooms if you do get it, and then the mushrooms are gonna explode, and you need to dodge the mushrooms. Cocoon here. Oh, it's okay. I have you. Oh, wait, wait, I don't have you. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. We're chilling. We're good. Getting the mushrooms. On you, here. Okay. Good, I and mean, then just avoid. What I do is I try to, it, during the fight, I stand in the middle, and then when the mushrooms go out, I tend to just go towards the outside, just because I think it's easier to dodge them. So, yeah, pretty good so far, pretty good, nice. We're looking good, no racial this. It is a bit of a longer fight though, so. Try not to dispel here. There we go, beautiful, I mean. If you get lucky, you can, not lucky, but if you like look ahead, you can kind of see where where you should go. You just completely ignore all the little mushrooms. I, this is my least favorite boss fight though in this place. I am not a fan. <laughs> I feel like it's such a long boss fight. It's just I just feel like it has so much health, and like there's not much going on, you know. Like I just gotta dodge like little mushrooms. Manatee here. Throw an essence font out. It's a little baby Shaylin's gift, but that's okay. I just wanted the extra healing for this, you know. It doesn't matter how like how many stacks you have, because it's gonna be the same buff no matter what. It's just the duration changes. I just wanted a little forty percent buff. Hopefully we can everyone can get out, out of their little vines and then we're just gonna Yeah, we're just gonna do a straight line straight across and just avoid it all. Yeah, I mean not too bad. Nothing too great. You could probably get a little fancy, put your port down or something, you know, get get fancy with it. That's cool too. I don't really, I don't get fancy, you know. I'm just trying to kill the boss. Shockwave again. Don't stand in front. DK is just out healing me. <sighs> Do love to see it, I guess. Dodge. I put my Yulon out because now people are gonna get shields. Revi I'm just gonna revival here because like, I don't know. People got low. I, I panicked there a little bit. I do have the crit buff now though, so. Shouldn't be too bad upheaval. We should only have one or two more of those dodges and we should be okay. Big damage, big healing. Good. Everyone's c crushing it right now. Everyone's doing a great job. Good. All right. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Beautiful. Done. Easy. If you need to rotate your cooldowns, you have Dampen Harm. You have Diffuse Magic. You have Fort Brew. So, all right. Just, just keep it clean here. We should be able to kill it. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Well done. Follow me. Oh boy. My boy knows a way. Wait, who am I following? All right, I'm following this guy. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I'm not leading this charge, am I? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where we're going. Like, I was like in the front of the pack there for a minute. I was like, dude, I don't know what's going on here. That was a really cool little skip there, though. That's neat. That's neat. Just completely skip all those mobs. Cool. That's good to know. Little neat trick there, in case anyone didn't know that. Or if maybe I'm the only one. Who knows? I could be the only one. Kick that. Dispel that. I'm going to go for an 8 stacker. No. No. Don't kill me. Okay. Okay. Cocoon. Dispel. Go for Big Shaylin's gift here. I didn't know we were pulling that mob. So you know what? Uh, that's that's my fault. 100% my fault. I, I was... That's my bad. I, I didn't know we were pulling the, the big boy. I hate this mob. Oh. Wait him. Okay. Just, you don't want to stand up. This is maddening gaze. Just you really don't want to stand in front of him, or you're gonna get take a lot of damage. You're gonna get feared, and then he's gonna summon uh, tentacles on the ground. You'll see him right here. Uh, you don't want to stand near them, or they're gonna like smash you like that. Okay. Be healing. Calm down, calm down. Yeah, good. Nice. This is my least favorite. I hate the last boss, but this is my least favorite part of the entire dungeon. I feel claustrophobic, and it's a. I hate. I hate it. I hate it. I wish we would pull like all the worms. All these little red circles on the ground are worms. That's like this one, the grotesque horror. So. Oh, 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 good. Put damn into E. Put damn into corruptors. Okay. Priest for MC. God, there's so much I don't know. <laughs> like, what, what does that even mean? What does that mean? Like, are we MCing this guy? Can I just Todd this? No, Robin, no, I got you. Let me get some quick mana here. Oh, I'm in combat. What am I in combat with? All right, this poll, this this poll, hate it more than anything in this entire dungeon. Um, don't want to stand in front of him. Damn it, harm here. Yep, dodging. Yep. Sweeping the worm. Okay, I'm sorry if I don't talk here, it's because I'm focused up right now. Focused up. Okay. Nice wall. I'm hit. I'm hit. I hate this. I hate this part, man. I think it's because I'm bad at it. Like, there's just so much to pay attention to. There's three different mobs with, like, three different, like, mechanics you need to pay attention to. Boom. Gnomeness. Okay. I got you on you, here. You're chilling. Kill that. Kick that. Nice. Good. I think I'm good. I don't have Todd. Void spit. Nice. Good. Good. Nice. Good. All right. Well done. All right. Good. It's just the worm, I guess. Oh, dodge your tentacles. All right, now we just got the uh, the last boss, and this guy, he doesn't really have much going on, really. What you want to do is you want to stand on his on his big foot, and you want to avoid the frontal vile expulsion. That's that's essentially the fight. Everyone's gonna get this debuff. Oh, what are we doing here? You don't really have to dispel them. You can if you want to, but what's gonna happen is this is gonna go out, and you're just gonna make sure you stack everybody with it, and it's gonna dispel everybody. So. That's, I mean, that's that's pretty much the fight. There really isn't, I mean, there's like consistent damage. I don't know what just happened. I don't know how that just came over here, but there's consistent damage, but there isn't like much burst damage you need to deal with. I kind of just want to revival here though, because I'm kind of falling behind. All right, good, yeah. And then to deal damage to him, the, there's going to be little like red guys that spawn that you want to kill. And those are what deals damage to the uh, to the boss. Diffuse magic used to reverse that dot back to the boss, but I don't think it. I, don't, I think it's weaker now, or it doesn't do it anymore. I don't know which. No racialist. Blood visage. This guy right here. MD. Really good MD from the priest. Maybe maybe you do want to dispel as much as you can on tyrannical. Now that I think about, it. I mean, this is a twenty-two, so I mean, it does. I guess a significant amount of damage. Nice, good. Good, good, well done. I do have a nine stacker that I can do, so I might use that. 
Yeah, I think we can use the nine stacker now. Let's just do it. Big heal. We're gonna dispel everything. Good. Manatee here. Essence font. Do damage. Don't stand in front. Try not to stand in the little white, I don't know, white web, I guess, on the ground. And then we should be okay. A four proof, so I don't have to deal like I'll rotate this cooldown on myself, so I don't need to heal myself, and I can just focus on my teammates. Good. Good. Don't ratio this. Good. Mana's mana's not looking fantastic. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not looking like certainly not ahead on mana here. Don't stand in front. I'm gonna Yulon here. It's gonna give me obviously more healing and then also the main reduction on Velpy Mist. Okay. Okay. Dodge this. Nice kill the Blood Visage, Diffuse Magic here. Nice MD from the Priest. Okay, good. All right, good, let's stack for this. Beautiful, beautiful, don't stand in front. Is this guy, is it just a long boss fight for fun? I swear. Spell here, use my, I think that was five or six stacks, I feel like. Don't stand in front, Cocoon here, on use. Nice AMZ, nice Disperse, we should be fine. Thunder Focus T, Vivify cost no mana. I also have the uh, Infusion for my Force set. Healing Elixir. Dodge. Nice, good stack, beautiful. I, I, uh, this, this boss used to be a lot more fun. I do have Revival back though. So, you know, if, if, if we start to like fall behind, no ratio here as well. If we start to fall behind, I'll just like gnome racial or I'll no racial. I wish. I'll just revival. Alright, we did get spawned. This should be kill. We have we only need one more. Okay. Alright, this is just nice, beautiful. There it is. There it is. Good job. Good job. Well done. Plus twenty. Oh, amazing. That's a plus twenty two. I got the plus twenty rating, which is great.